Lately, I've been trying to improve the quality of my work. Whenever you hear professional photographers talk about their growth, they always mention how much their quality has improved since the first time they took a picture to their latest work. But what does it mean? Oftentimes, we think that's because they have very fancy hardware. Surely, we could produce what they produce if only we had a Sony a7. If only we had the best editing software. If only we had that Canon 600mm lens. That would do it. But here's the cold truth. We would not be able to produce those stunning images that those professional photographers create. It doesn't matter if we have the best hardware in the world. As a matter of fact, if you think the only way to get good at photography is by having the best gear, well then you're wrong, which is great for you. How many times do you hear that? It's great for you even though you're wrong. Because today, we're gonna learn about three things you can start investing in to accelerate your growth as a photographer and be the best you can be. And the best part, it's free. Now let's start with investment one, invest in light. Now I don't mean to go out and buy a set of Godox lights. That's not what I mean. Instead, invest in learning all you can about light and how it affects the photography that you love to do. If you ask any professional photographer, one of the most crucial things to understand is light. It can mean the difference between an okay picture and a phenomenal picture. Now, I'm not gonna go into depth about what all light can do, uh, but lucky for you, there's just a plethora of YouTube videos you can select from at your fingertips. You can, you can spend hours, I know I have, on learning how important light is to any kind of photography. If you wanna get started at home, you don't have to even invest in a $70 light. I mean, you could use your lamp, you can use a flashlight, and the cheapest of all, the sun. Once you start understanding the basics, you start understanding what exactly are temperatures of light, what exactly is the strength of light, your photography is gonna be transformed and you're gonna be so happy that you took the time to learn that. Okay, so now that we know that we need to invest in lighting, let's go to number two. Now this is another powerful thing you can start investing in early in your journey. You have to invest in your editing skills. As photographers, we're gonna have an internal conflict on whether we should edit our photos or not. But let me tell you, you absolutely should. Now let's guess the price. If you guess free, yeah, you're right. Go ahead and pat yourself on the back. It's important to learn how to edit because it teaches you so much about colors, about scale, about cropping, and that's all imperative to know if you wanna become an excellent photographer. And furthermore, it might be your style. Like it might be the way you develop as a photographer. You might, be a, you might find uh, something that you like in Adobe Lightroom, for example, and that might be your style for a year or two. You don't have to have Adobe Lightroom. As a matter of fact, you can find software for free online pretty easily. And if you pair that with YouTube tutorials, you're unstoppable. And after you edit for a month or so, you'll start to realize if you really need editing, because maybe you just like doing black and white photo uh, photography. So then maybe you don't need a super strong photo editing software like Adobe Lightroom. But for you, the software installed in your phone might be good enough. So give it a try, I promise. It's gonna help you grow a lot. Now that you know how important editing is, let's move on to number three. And this one, I'm so guilty of doing myself. Really, I can't help it. Invest in learning how to use your gear. I am so notorious for buying a piece of equipment and not looking at the manual. As a matter of fact, I probably throw it on the ground. But then a month or two later, I start watching YouTube tutorials on whatever gear I have. And I always find myself thinking, I didn't know I could do that. Huh, I wish I would've known I could do that. That would've saved me so much time. Now imagine if you did that for all your gear. If you're guilty of this, you have to start reading the manuals on your gear because it's gonna help your photography grow exponentially. And not only that, it's gonna help you pick what kind of equipment you actually need. Let's use your phone, for example. If you're shooting with your phone and then you start watching tutorials on how to make it the best you can make it. And then one day you realize you've pushed the boundaries of your phone and you can't do what you want to do. So now you know maybe you need an upgrade to a DSLR or something even better than that. But you definitely know that you don't need another phone. If you start learning how to use your gear appropriately, it's going to save you so much of your hard-earned money down the road. And look, regardless of how much time you invest in learning these things, taking up photography can be super expensive. But if you follow my tips, it'll save you so much money down the road because you're not guessing what you need. It helps you understand exactly what you need and it helps you develop your style because you didn't buy that DSLR right off the bat. 
and instead you invested in the fundamentals. Thank you so much for watching this all the way through. I'm doing everything I can to improve the quality every single video. If you feel like I'm doing that, please subscribe and give this video a like. Now that you know what to invest in, get out there and pursue your passion.